what's up YouTube I am going to do a short video of trying to explain how to drive straight down the road I mean that sounds quite elementary I suppose but I realize that almost all of my students have a big problem initially driving straight they would go from one side of the road to the next they driving in the lane as if they're drunk really you know you're going from one side to the next side back and forth and uh, it's really not nearly as easy as you would think to drive straight down the road so I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to give you some solutions to to that issue actually but before I get into that I'm actually at a light right now so before I get into trying to explain how to keep yourself going straight down the road um, please like the video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet and share please alright so I'm gonna get into how to drive straight down the road it's, 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 it's a very basic thing but it's not nearly as easy as you think I'm gonna go into this middle lane but I right, say I'm driving straight down the road what people tend to do is basically they would go from here and you would hear them run over the thing like that and when they do that they would make one big turn and they would end up over on this side like that right and they would keep going back and forth from side to side in the lane until you know until they get good enough to stop doing that but there's a way you can basically do that a little bit quicker than what I've seen normally because people do take a couple of days before they get the hang of that so my solution is when you go to the the lane when you go you find yourself drifting to one side or the other and you will I mean when you're a new driver you will drift when you find yourself drifting instead of making a big turn that moves you from say right side to left side in the lane and back and forth you want to make very very small turns to keep you in the middle of the lane right don't wait until you're like hearing the the wheel touching the reflectors before you decide to turn and then again you're gonna turn big enough so it gets you back to the other side of the lane and hitting the reflectors again so you keep the turns as small as possible and again the road is not straight is the road is not perfectly straight so you will definitely need to make adjustments as you go right so my advice is to keep the, the turns as small as possible to keep you in the middle of the lane right so say we're going down here now and I'll show you well you know to stay in the middle of the lane instead of waiting until the car is all the way over to the line and then straightening we're gonna make very very minute turns to keep the car in the middle most of the time you don't need to turn at all but if you do if you do turn then keep the turns very very small and then you know that will Im eliminate the need to make big turns when you go all the way over to the lane when you wait until you hear the wheel touching the reflectors then by then you're all the way over there and even if that happens don't make one drastic turn because there's nothing that says you have to come back immediately you can just do a gradual small turn and then get back to the middle of the lane gradually right so don't overreact when you find this when you hear yourself hitting those reflectors don't overreact and make one big swing to try to correct it just make a very gradual smooth turn to get you back into the middle of the lane right again just make the turns as smooth and small as possible to keep in the middle of the lane that's as basic as it gets but yes I see it all day long people struggle with this a lot more than you would think like 
even this morning. I mean, students do that all day. They drift from side to side until, you know, after a couple of days, they get it. But, you know, just for the, the sake of the video, I'm trying to help to give you some tips as to how to do it more efficiently, all right? So, thanks for watching. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit that notification bell, please, so you'll be notified whenever I post. And uh, I will see you on the next video.